Today on JIC Labs, we explore exported workbooks from your accounting software or wherever that are giving you formatting errors. Let's get started. Now that you have Excel open and ready to go, we're going to see a mock exported Excel report from our accounting software. And it's got our invoice dates, salesperson cost, and sales amount. Well, right now we can look at dates and see that something is awry there, but we'll get to that here in a moment. But what we want to do first is we want to do some additional calculations with this data that we've exported or was maybe sent to you. So right now we're just going to do GP percentage, and that's GP equals GP dollars divided by the sales amount. And we hit enter. Whoa, what gives? Why is it showing us the equation? Well, Let's take a look at what's going on here. Control one, and we're gonna bring up the format cell window, and we're gonna see this is formatted as a text. So it doesn't matter how many equations that you write in here, it's always gonna report it as a text rather than going through the functions of equations that you've entered. So how do we fix that? Well, we can come up here and hit general, and that will take care of this cell by itself, but it also will not update this Excel for us. But if you edit that cell and hit enter, it will fix that for you. Now, if we were to come down below and do the same exact equation, well, we're still gonna, gonna get that formatting. But if we were to copy and paste down, Excel's gonna pull down that formatting for us. Since we've changed the general, now it knows that we're typing an equation and it's gonna update it for us. But the dates over here are still skewed. So let's highlight all of column B once again, we're gonna hit control one and we're gonna bring up that format cells window and we can see everything is set in column B to text. So we wanna change that to date and we can select the format and the date we want. We want month, month, day, day, year, year and we'll go ahead and hit okay. And we can see that these dates are now in the correct format. You can go through and format things as you wish. For D, E and F, we can come in here and say dollar signs and for G, we can say percent. So now this, if we come into H, since we've only look, changed the formattings for G and B, if we do the same thing for H and we enter a new equation, doesn't really matter, sum, and we're just gonna sum up all these numbers and close out those parentheses and hit enter. Once again, we're only seeing that equation as we've written it rather than the actual sum of D5 to F5 because of the formatting. So there's a couple ways you can handle this. You can handle it by row by row, column by column, which is could be a bit tedious for you. But generally when you export these items, you already have to do some formatting work to begin with. You can handle it column by column, or if you clicked up between the rows and columns and highlighted everything and hit control one, and we bring back up our format cells window, we can hit it as general and Excel will update as we go. One thing you'll note is when we hit OK, we're gonna lose all of our formatting that we've already changed. So right now we're back to square one, but if we were to come in here and says equal sum and hit those equations, Excel is gonna do that for us. So there's no wrong answer, but if you come into an exported workbook or a workbook that was sent to you and you're trying to add in equations and you see the physical equation that you've entered rather than the results, it's telling you that there's something wrong behind the scenes with the cell formatting. You can either do it up front or take it as you go, but just keep that in mind as we see that more times than not, it's a, just a simple behind the scenes formatting issue. Hopefully you found this little short video helpful. Any questions, leave us a comment down below and we'll see you all next week. Thanks for watching. Today on JIC Labs, we're going to explore export 